Today we have a 1995 Ford Explorer. Um, we're going to be putting some brake pads and rotors on it. Uh, we got our parts from AutoPartsDirectU.com. They saved us a bunch of money, um, hooked us up with some good brake pads. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to jack it up and take the wheels off, and we'll start from there. All right, we've got our wheel off. We've got our uh, truck up in the air, supported real well. Um, so we're going to start by just disconnecting the caliper. You've got two 13 millimeter bolts on this truck. We'll just take those out real quick. Okay, once you have those off, the caliper will just slide right off the brake pads. Whoever did this job in the past had this brake line twisted, so we're going to go ahead and straighten that. Oh, now you want to set this, I thought our tire would be well, or good enough, but you want to set it somewhere where the, the weight of the thing is not going to hang on the brake caliper. So I'm going to get a box. I put the caliper on this box here uh, to keep the pressure you don't want the caliper to hang from the hose. It keeps the pressure off the hose. All right, the next thing we have to do is take off the two bolts that hold the caliper bracket on. There's two right on the back here. Uh, whoever had been in here in the past put a 19 millimeter in one and a 15 in the other, which is fine, but just requires two sockets. Once you get those off, slide your caliper bracket off. And our brake rotor is already coming off. You can just go ahead and slide it off the rest of the way. We're replacing the brake rotors on this. It's hard to see, but there's a pretty large lip here on the end of this rotor. Uh, it, this brake rotor is real thin. The other side is actually metal on metal, so there's big grooves in the rotor itself. So it's definitely new, due for new rotors. Just matching up our new rotor. Looks like the right diameter and right thickness. Now before you put this on, you want to get these rotors cleaned up. Uh, actually the best way of doing it is with just soap and water. And you wash the front surface and the back surface. And after you do that, just make sure you don't touch the surface itself with your hands. Because um, any oil on your hands will actually contaminate that rotor. So we'll get this new rotor all cleaned up. Alright, we've got our rotor all cleaned up. So we're going to go ahead and slide it over the hub. Now to hold the rotor in place, you can take a uh, lug nut and just spin it on. That'll hold the rotor in place while you put everything back together. Now one thing I did notice this slide is pretty much stuck. I mean it's got a little bit of movement on it. But I'm going to pull this out. You can see how gummed up it is. I'm just going to clean this up real quick and put some uh, brake grease on this. And that'll keep that thing from sticking. All right, we've got our caliper slides all lubed up and moving freely. Next step, we're just going to back, bolt the uh, caliper bracket back on. Alright, our next step is to just install the new brake pads. They just slide right into the caliper brackets here. Lastly, we just have to compress the pistons on the caliper itself. This is a dual piston compressor. Um, it's made just for brake calipers like this. Um, I think you can pick these up at most tool stores. If you don't have one, you can use uh, a C clamp, but it works really nice for this because all you do is you line it up with your pistons, and as you squeeze it, you'll see them press in to their bores. Once you get those compressed, caliper bracket back on, and I just realized that this clip fell out of the caliper. This clip just sits right in here. You shouldn't have to mess with that, but in this case it came off.
All right, and that is, we're just going to repeat the same on the other side. Uh, one important step always when you're doing a brake job, before you go to drive the truck or car, make sure you press your brake pedal a bunch of times until the pedal builds up uh, pressure. Because right now with the pistons compressed in, there's a big air gap that has to fill. Uh, once you push it down, the pistons come out and that tightens up your brake pedal. So uh, thank you for watching and remember to keep autopartsdirectu.com in mind. Uh, next time you need some parts and that'll do it.